In terms of new clinical information pertaining to limb girdle muscular dystrophy that was presented in this conference, I was curious and it was interesting for me to look at some of the uh, information that was presented from um, advocacy organizations and patient support groups that even now there is delay in the diagnosis of limb girdle muscular dystrophy in the community. I think that tells us about the education and awareness we still need to recognize and diagnose these conditions. We need more um, providers, including primary care providers, pediatricians, to be more aware of these limb girdle muscular dystrophies for prompt referral so that they can be diagnosed as soon as they can and then they can get onto the treatment or other management. So one of the challenges challenges of doing clinical trials in limb girdle muscular dystrophy is that this is a rarer disease than Duchenne muscular dystrophy. So it's harder to recruit the numbers of patients that would give us the statistical power to be able to show clinical efficacy. Nonetheless, um, something such as such something as powerful as gene therapy certainly could potentially provide um, efficacy that could be captured even in smaller numbers. And I think that that's kind of what they're hoping for. Um, there are additional limb girdle muscular dystrophies besides the ones that are currently being studied. The one that's currently being studied is limb girdle muscular dystrophy 2E, which are mutations in beta sarcoglycan. Um, there are other limb girdle muscular dystrophies besides 2E that sometimes tends to be milder. And that presents an additional challenge because milder patients tend to be uh, have more variability in their phenotype. So their variability in their severity. So that's the time when you're gonna need larger numbers of patients to be enrolled in the clinical trials to be able to show efficacy. So I think that although this is a promising next step, um, the next muscular dystrophy perhaps next set of muscular dystrophies that perhaps may be amenable to treatment, especially with something as powerful as gene therapy. I think we immediately see some challenges in terms of what, um, what the clinical researchers are gonna be able to accomplish. And I hope that we're, we're gonna be able to overcome these challenges so that we can have some approved treatments for these other patients.